Welcome to my channel. This video shows how to perform real time parameter tuning of a common source amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. The test setup consists of a 90 nanometer NMOS transistor and a source resistance of 1 kilo ohm. The supply voltage is 1 volt. The input is a sinusoidal. To check the properties, select this and press Q. The DC voltage is set as a parameter VGG. You can set your own parameter here. Similarly, the amplitude is set as V sine and the input frequency is 1 kilohertz. Once the design is completed, check and save, then go to the launch and you can use any of this option like ADEL, XL, GXL, Explorer and Assembler. Right now, I am opting for ADE Assembler. Click on create new view. Click OK. It opens a master view where you can perform multiple analysis. Click OK. This is the AD assembler view. On the left, you can click on the test. This is the test setup name. Click OK. Assembler changes to Explorer. This is where you can perform or add inputs and outputs. Select the analysis to perform. I am going to perform. The input frequency is 1 kilohertz. So I want to perform it for a duration of 2 milliseconds. Click on moderate. Apply. I also want to perform a DC analysis of this common source amplifier, DC. Click on DC operating point. This time you select the design variable. Select the design variable. Before that, you need to add the design variables. Right click, copy from, provide the design variable as 0 0.5, that is half of the DC voltage and we sign as a minimum amplitude of 0 0.1 millivolts. Once these parameters are Applied, then you can go for analysis DC, save DC operating point, click on design variable, select the design variables. In that, you select the VGG, which is a DC voltage. Click OK, sweep it from 0 to 1 volt in steps of 0 0.01 volts. Click OK. Two analysis are loaded as well as the design variables are there. Just try to add the input output. So for that you go to the on the right hand side you have signal or expression. First we will try to load the signal. Once this is done Double click under this and select the signal that you want to plot, that is a V out. V out, I want to observe the output. Once this is done, click on run simulation.
so here the two analysis results are plotted one is the dc response the second one is transient response transient and dc so this is the typical dc response of a amplifier and if you observe this is a typical cs amplifier with inverting output and the output is switching from a minimum value let me show this use the marker m then press d right click and change it to y it has a minimum value of around 41.8 millivolts which is very small in voltage swing that is because of the low width of the transistor we have used only 120 nanometer if you increase that you can increase the value now i want to perform the real parameter tuning of the parameters for that i want to add few parameters go to the expression then double click on it open the calculator to add the transient response select vt vt for transient vt then click on the output just click on this gear symbol to add it to the output it adds into the output Again, you can add the some more parameters like click on operating point, then select the transistor, a list appears from the list, you can check what is the parameter you want to show. I want to show the region of the transistor, click on it, again one more parameter the threshold voltage i can add vth click on this again one more parameter of this transistor let me clear this Click on operating point, select the transistor, then you can add another one called GM, transconductance, to the outputs. Once this is done, go to the master view and you have the outputs. You can name them as V out. region vth all the expressions can be renamed like transconductance so once these are done just click on them or click here for run simulation they define the values for VTH region and transconductance for the transistor that is used as a common source amplifier. Responses remain same, both are transient, and this is the DC response. So it shows that 
or let me go to the assembler view and in the results we have it it shows that the region of operation is it is in a saturation region 0 for cutoff 1 for triode region and 2 for saturation region that is in a on state and transconductance is this now i want to use the parametric tuning to perform that you can go to the tools and click on real time tuning or you have this option or icon real time tuning once you select that you have these variables first once these are enabled you can click on start simulation so this is a nominal value both represents the same there is no change in it and this is the dc response now i am performing the manual tuning of it so for different values of vgg you have different responses select this and see the values change the graph properties to white again you increase the value of vgg one more value appeared you can split that select it and split it. if you want you can see it by using this card for one more altogether you can see one more two more values so for different values there are different responses available let me delete this as they are similar even increase the v sign for those also there are tuning values and there are difference in the responses as well so in this manner you can try to increase or decrease a single value with the tuning the response changes for each and every value that you have increased so this is the overall response under of the common source amplifier